Hey everyone, welcome to Happy Metal. Today, I'm going to do a little testing on some 9mm. We all come out here to the range and we more or less shoot whatever's on sale. That's our basic range ammo. 115 grain, full metal jackets. That's what the majority of us use. I know that's what I use out here for the most part. Well, I was wondering just how much differences there are in some of our basic low-cost range ammo. So, what I've got here is I brought out the chronograph. We'll put three of each over there and get us an average with it. And first up, I have some uh, tall ammo. Now this is, uh, like I say, all of this is basic 115 grain full metal jacket. The tall ammo is a steel case. And then we have some Winchester. U.S. State Forged, and that stuff is steel case also. And then we'll move up to some uh, cellar and billet. Uh, shot a lot. Everything I'm mentioning here, I've shot a lot out here on the range. There's one of them looks like. And then last but not least, some Biochi. And here's what they look like. So, all basic 9mm range ammo that the majority of us shoot. I'm sure y'all have shot some of these, one or two, or maybe all of them. I've shot all of them a ton of times. And, I mean, the stuff functions and it works. And I get a decent accuracy out of it. Uh, we're going to be using the uh, Remington RP9 for this test. And for some of y'all, I know you say, well, if you do a chronograph test, you shouldn't use a cold barrel. By the time you get to the other rounds, it's done changed and all that business. Uh, that, I don't know. I'm not the uh, chronograph super expert guy. But I think I got eight rounds in there of the Winchester Forge. I'm just going to go ahead and shoot them and basically warm that barrel up before we do the test. to shoot these uh, from the steel case on up so let me load them as so last will be the Fiochi before that will be the celery belly then the before that the USA Forge from Winchester and then first shots will be our tool ammo or Tula ammo, however some of y'all pronounce it. I've always just called it old tall ammo. Alright, let's crank up the chronograph. Delete our last string. We're roughly 10 to 12 feet away on these guys. Alright, first up, tall ammo. Twelve oh two, eleven eighty seven, and a twelve oh seven. I'll throw the average up here. Now next is our Winchester USA Forge. Eleven seventy five. 1210 and a 1224. A little smoky on them. Alright, like I say, averages up here. Next up we have our cellar and pellet. 
Let's see how that's going to run through the chrome graph. 1226, 1233, 1225. My stuff was pretty consistent. All right, and last but not least, our Piochis, which when I shoot the Piochis, the felt recoil in the hand seems like a little more. They do seem to be a little hotter, but this right here will tell us if they're actually hotter or not. Eleven fifty-two. I know you're getting a fireball off of them Piochis. Eleven fifty-four. Eleven ninety-four. Well, that just goes to show you that Piochi, even though it feels hotter and you get this nice fireball off of it, according to this test, it's not hotter than the others, really. Shut that down, save the battery. Well, guys, there you have it. Like I said, I've done that test with a warmed up barrel, so I think that'll make make all the rounds even out pretty well. And uh, there right there was a cool little test. So now you see what your range ammo is up to as far as the feet per second and stuff with the average 115 grain full metal jackets that most of us shoot at the range. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed shooting it for you. If you would, throw me down some comments, questions, suggestions, I always appreciate it. If you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And if you would, please, like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Again, thanks to everyone for watching. And until the next one, I hope that y'all have a fantastic day.